محمد اسحاق لیکچر ان بارٹنی گورنمنٹ پوز بریجویٹ کالیج سوادی ٹاپک اپ پریزنٹیشن اس سٹرکچر ان پنکشن آف نیفران ان دس ٹاپک بھی ویل ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا کڈنی نیفران سٹرکچر اپ نیفران رینل کارپاسلز رینل ٹیبیولز ایز ویل ایس ان لاسٹ ایکٹیویٹی سو لیٹس بی سٹارٹڈ ایز یو نو دیٹ دا سائنس اپ کڈنی ایز نون ایز رینالوجی اور نیفرالوجی ان کڈنی ٹو ان نمبر اس پریزنٹ ان ہیومن بینگز The transverse section of the kidney show cortex as well as medulla. Cortex is the outermost portion as well as medulla is the innermost portion. The, those area where the renal artery as well as the renal vein in ureter leave the kidney is known as hyalus. It's known as uh, the hyalus. Ureter is those portion of the excretory system which carry the urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder. In urinary bladder you know that it is a, a bag like structure, it is a sac like structure responsible to store the urine. In urethra is a structure with the help of which the urine can go to outside environment. Now we will come go to explain the internal structure of the kidney as you know that uh, nephron is the basic structural as well as functional unit of uh, the kidney. In each kidney, approximately 1 million or up to 1 million, yes, nephron is present in each kidney. The main function of the nephron, it filters the blood, remove various types of wet waste material that convert it into urine. The nephron, each nephron in the kidney is divided into renal corpuscles and renal tubules. Let's we have to discuss about the first of all the renal corpuscle. As you know that uh, renal corpuscle is those part of the nephron which uh, composed of glomerulus and Bowman capsule and it is the initial filtering component of the nephron and responsible to remove the waste material, excess material and toxic material from the blood and produce the urine and the urine is known as the primary urine. What is glomerulus? Glomerulus is uh, basically a tough or a group of capillaries. A larger diameter, the efferent arteriole enter into the glomerulus while efferent arteriole is those arteriole which leave the glomerulus and the diameter you see in the diagram that the efferent arteriole have large diameter while the efferent arteriole have small diameter. So a pressure is developed within the glomerulus in which various types of material either they may be to toxic material, nitrogenous material, excess material, waste material they remove and enter into the domain capsule. Now we will come to explain the Bowman capsule as you know that uh, within the diagram you see that uh, it is a cup shaped structure enclosing the glomerulus and the cells of the Bowman capsule uh, surrounding the glomerulus surrounding the capillaries is known as podocytes. This is the actual section of the human kidney uh, which show the glomerulus as well as the Bowman capsule, afferent and efferent arterioles. Various types of material from the blood, they will, due to the pressure gradient, due to the pressure gradient, afferent and efferent arterioles, various types of material, for example, urea, water, they are present in excess amount, uh, sodium, any the toxic and uh, waste material from the blood capillary when enter into the Bowman capsule. As you know that uh, the capillary lining have large pores as well as the podocytes have also large pores. While basement, basement membranes of the capillaries, it restrict the movement of protein. So we restrict some material due to the pressure from the blood will enter into the Bowman capsule, from the blood plasma to the Bowman capsule. While proteins are prevented due to the presence of basement membrane. Renal tubules is the second part of the nephron. It uh, basically composed of various types of tubular systems starting from the Bowman capsule 
the first uh, one is known as distal convoluted tubule proximal convoluted tubules loop of henle and distal convoluted tubule and then the distal convoluted tubules attached to the collecting ducts so it is the those form of tubules that they filtered uh, uh, various types of material from the blood capillaries and it is basically composed of as i have told the proximal convoluted tubule loop of henle and distal convoluted ducts tubules and last they joined with collecting ducts proximal convoluted tubules you know that it uh, originated from the bowman capsule uh, to the loop of henle and it is the longest part of uh, the nephron lined with epithelial cells and it have microvilli it basically increase surface area for absorption because reabsorption so we receive some material when they enter into bowman capsule within renal tubules so some necessary material from the filtrate again enter into the blood capillaries so it is basically for the reabsorption and it uh, control water and other material within the blood loop of henle is you know that it is a long u shaped tube allowed to filter out salt as well as it maintain the concentration of water within the body the distal convoluted tubule is those part of the renal tubules which is away from the glomerulus or bowman capsule as you see clearly in the diagram and collecting duct as you know that it collect the urine which is uh, various types of waste material toxic material and excess material or nitrogenous material which is collected by the renal tubules is collected by the collecting ducts so you know it is begin renal cortex it extend deep into the medulla and deliver urine in the pelvis and give it to the ureter draw sketch of nephron and trace the movement of water in urine and nephron uh, write them in the comment box below i will see it if you like the video please share subscribe and watch thank you